and welcome to our 38th edition, Joes. Wow, we're growing our up. Our 38th episode. I think it's episode three. No, it's episode three. No. Season three. Season three, episode four, I think. Okay, that yeah. sounds good to me. That sounds good to you. Yeah. Want to welcome you to a late edition, but it's going to be a shorter edition because... Mm-hmm. Josie's here. She's my guest tonight. You know, we, I've never had Josie as I've never had you as my guest. Well, it's You've always, always been. been over here in the chair. Well, we got rid of the chair tonight. Uh-huh. I said to Zen, I said, you got to move the chair. You know, Josie has to sit next to me because she's my guest. So um, I want to welcome you to Healthy Living with Marilyn. I hope you are having a wonderful, amazing, amazing day, amazing week. Um, it's been amazing for me. I've been working on a book. I went to Fort Lauderdale last week. That's why we didn't have a show last week. And I will show you my book cover when I can get it up. Oops, Oops I touched that. Oops. Jen will probably pulverize me for that one. <laughs> Here. Here is my book cover. It is called Be Amazing. Subtitle is How to Stay Motivated to Achieve Results in a Fast-Paced World. Ooh, that's a challenge. It is. It's a challenge. And I worked my tail off today to get stuff done. I was right on. Very good. Right on. Very good. And this this book camp that Vishal Majaria had, he is a um, famous international author. Um, He's going to do, he did my testimonial. And he's doing the forward for my for my book. Yes. Very yes. good. So, um, but he pushed us this weekend. He really did. I mean, I was in Florida and it was sunny and one day it would rain, but it was beautiful. However, I didn't get a chance to go out in, in the weather. But that wasn't your goal, Marilyn. No. It was to write your book in three my days. My goal was to write my book in three, in three days, days. And I came really close to finishing yeah. it. Yep. So I've got a little bit more to do. So it's the up and coming book called Be Amazing, How to Stay Motivated to Achieve Results in a fast-paced world. So look for it to come out. That's my book cover. I'm so excited about it. Awesome. So excited about it. So um, I hope everybody has had a great week. Um, I want to talk about Lisa. Lisa's having an um, emotion code mm-hmm. event over at um, Resonance. That's right. Okay. And she's having it on... Thursday, February 22nd from 5 mm-hmm. to 7, and Sunday, February 25th from 12 to 2. Um, there's a few spots left, so if you want to grab a spot, give her a call. The spots, they're $20 for 20 minutes, and um, it's at Resonance. So if you want to go see her and, and you want to make an appointment for a float or a sound machine mm-hmm. or a sauna, you know, you might as well get it all in yeah, one thing. For real. Or she's got this other machine which shakes you, which helps you lose weight. It's like I've been on that. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called, but it's way cool. Okay. And I've used it before. So, um, you know, she talks about, um, well, she, she, I, she took time to write this to me. So I'm going to read it. Read it, please. People often sense that they have emotional issues but don't know how to p- get past them. The feelings that seem to be in their way are often due to their trapped emotions. They are usually amazed to find out that their emotional baggage often consists of discrete energies that became trapped during emotional events they experienced in their past. Hmm. You know, when you have emotions and things bother you, you just shove it back. You shove it back. You shove it, it back. It doesn't go away, though. No, it doesn't go away. So she's there to help you release those. And it's even more amazing to see how easily these energies can be found and removed and by how different they feel when they are freed of them. It's like that big aha moment. Mm -hmm. Um, In the same way that you cannot see the wind, yet you can't feel its effects, trapped emotions are invisible, and Mm. they can exert powerful forces upon you. I mean, it can stop you from doing things. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. A lot of people get stuck in the past. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So trapped emotions can affect you physically, just as much as they can affect you emotionally and mentally. Mm-hmm. So if you feel you've got an issue and you don't know what it is, give her a call because awesome. she can help you out. She says it's her experience that a significant percentage of physical illnesses, emotional difficulties, and self-sabotage are actually caused by these unseen energies. Hmm, I Isn't believe that. Interesting? that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there's a few spots left. It's a great way to try the emotion code for 20 bucks. How do they reach her? You, you can call her at 804 
539-3251. What's or that number? 804-539-3251. Or you can email her at lisa at lisahealthy.com to schedule an appointment. Awesome. She's great. She's done it for me, and it, it's it's wonderful. It really is. You 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 will feel amazing if you go if you take the time to go through this. And it's so important to invest in yourself, totally. Right, Jez? If you don't, who else will? That's I mean, right. We teach others how to treat us. So if we don't treat ourselves as though we're worthy, we can't expect others to do it for us. Right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I'm trying to get these over so Josie and I can do a lot of talking. Okay, cool. Because we like to talk a lot. And we have a lot of stuff that we want to share. So um, Aubrey Eicher, now I saw her on Tuesday, yeah. I got up Tuesday morning after a flight back from Fort Lauderdale. I'm proud of I, you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Um, and we did a video that morning. I saw. Did you see I it? I did. And she's having a 12-week to sustainable lifestyle changes. She's a holistic personal trainer. She's my personal trainer. And you can ex schedule an exploratory session today. You can go to her website, www.richmond-wellness.com or you can call her and leave a message at 804-367-3589. She will also do this virtually. So if you don't Ooh. live here, if you don't live here and you want to have somebody hold you accountable mm -hmm. so you are successful with losing weight, staying healthy, eating right, get in touch with her. And, you know, even if you live here, but maybe you're restricted to being at home because you're a caregiver, Whatever, you know, yeah. make time for you. Right. Absolutely. Make time. You have to make time for you. That's one thing that we're going to talk about tonight to setting your mindset. You have to make time for yourself. You know, there were times today when I grabbed 10 minutes to take a nap. Mm -hmm. 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there. I said to Zen, I'm going to just lay down for just a little bit. Power naps. Power nap. Yeah, and I'm not a fan of power naps. I mean, when I go to sleep, I want to go to sleep and take a long nap. But, but sometimes, sometimes you just need a, you need to just rejuvenate. Right, and I think that's what it was. It was my rejuvenation mm -hmm. day because I had a lot of writing that I was getting done, and mm -hmm. I had two errands that I had to do. And other than that, I was home. And um, I did some snail mail today. I got some snail mail from you. Yeah. You know, I, I wrote snail mail things out today. So that was pretty cool. Um, you know, sending somebody a card or just a note to let them know that you care, that mm -hmm. you're thinking of them, it, do, it takes two minutes, you know, and, and get a stamp and put it in your mailbox. You don't even have to go to the post office. Just put it in your mailbox, put the flag up, and they'll come get it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be doing more snail mail, definitely more snail it's mail. It's personal. That's right. That's right. So, and the other thing I want to tell you, next week, I'm so excited, we're going to have Dove Barron on. Oh, that's next week. Yay. That is next week. Yes, we are going to be Zooming him in, and I hope and pray that we'll still be able to do it um, out from um, British Columbia, Canada. Awesome. Yes, Vancouver. So, um, he wrote the book, Fiercely Loyal. So, if you are in, if you have a business and you want to keep your employees... You or have, or you if have, you're an entrepreneur and you want to keep your customers. Right. You want to keep your customers. You mm -hmm. want to keep your friends. Read this book. Because, you know, we all have friends that they might get in touch with us. But when you do something big, they really might get in touch with you. But are they really your friends? <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, Joes? Mm -hmm. So um, this is a great book. Fair weather friends. Yeah, really. I can't wait for him to be on next week. Um I'm going to read this book again before next week. Okay. Again. I've read this book five times. I might need to borrow it so I can read and be up on it. Okay. 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 Yeah. So anyhow, um, and Josie, I'm going to, I want to have you talk because okay. uh, my throat's bothering me. So <laughs> I want so, you have show and tell. And I have I show do. and tell. Yeah, I do. I love show and tell. Yeah. Just, don't you love show and tell? I do. I love show and tell. It brings yes. out the kid in us. I know. I know. It's like being back in school, you know, on mm -hmm. Fridays we used to have show and tell. So um, tonight I'm representing the first and the other half of my entrepreneurial lifestyle and its sole purpose. And that was really one of my first ventures into direct sales. And it started 
10 years ago. So we're celebrating this month our 10 year anniversary as a part of girl. as a part of our partner company Longevity International. And so um, ironically as we're talking about mindset, that's what we talk about. It's really about having our mind set on self-care and wellness. And so what I did Marilyn was just grab a couple of things that are part of my daily um, regimen loving, loving me mm -hmm. um, and so Soul Purpose is a lifestyle company it's about organic natural body care products and we cover you from head to toe we've got facial products we've got hair products um, we have body products and so I brought some of the body and some of the ambiance so I brought one of our my favorite fragrance when I was going through cancer treatments, this was the fragrance that I gravitated to is Ghanaian brown sugar and honey. So I brought three things. I bought our body gloss. So Marilyn, I'm going to put a little bit in your hands. What do I do with it? Just massage in. It's a body gloss. Where's it go? On the top of my hand? Your All whole over. hand. Love your whole Ooh. hand and arm. It's oh, a really nice this feels sheen. So nice. It's nice and it's natural. And it's nice to your body. You know, you yes. not only have to love yourself. You only you get have, one body. You have to love your body. That's I don't right. care what size you are. I don't care what you look like. We are all beautiful. Every every single one of us. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter what size you are, love your body. Take yes. time to nourish your body. Because That's you're going important. to get one. And, you you're know, and if one. you don't take care of your body, where will you live? So um, I didn't bring my shower gel because that was in my shower. I didn't want to take that out. <laughs> really? But, <laughs> <laughs> so, but the brown sugar shower gel. Oh, this and is this awesome. is our body butter. Mm -hmm. And our body butter is, um, it's a really rich shea, but it has essential oils. And we have a partnership with women in Ghana they make our shea for us. So we oh, know wow. our sources of our products. And part of our give back, Nadine and her husband, Reverend Robert Thompson, um, have a foundation there where they are helping the women with entrepreneurship. So this is our Ghanaian brown sugar and honey body butter and our Ghanaian brown sugar and honey sugar scrub. So this is one of my favorite fragrances. And so I decided just to bring that one. But we have a gamut of fragrances um, because it goes from being or uh, natural to being earthy to being floral um so we have spicy? stuff you like have spicy um a little bit more well like sandalwood's kind of earthy yeah, but it's kind of earthy. in between but we got lovely day which is a pear and grapefruit we've got brazilian jackfruit and what i love about what nadine did was she created fragrances and we have what we call a journey of senses that takes you around the world through the scent so the Ghanaian brown sugar and honey, the Persian pomegranate and mango, um, our Brazilian jackfruit, Australian sandalwood, Hollywood fresh. So you get a sense of the cultures of each of those regions. Mm -hmm. And then Marilyn, each week that I come, I always gift our guests because you we do. like to gift our guests. And we gift our guests. You all don't see it, but we really gift our guests. Mm -hmm. So this is one of our mini candles, and this is from a candle set, and this was a part of one of our collections, and this is um, three cents. This one is called Love, which has a little bit of peppermint yeah, in it. Yeah, I could really smell the peppermint. So this is Love, Michael, Faith, and Hope. Show this. I know it's, but it, it shimmers. You mm -hmm. know, it's got, I don't know. These are that. soy. Soy. These are all soy. Yeah. So what I love about these candles mm -hmm. is when they're melted, you can actually take that melted soy and, and rub do it a on massage, your hand. put it all over your body. Um, and when we began with um, Soul Purpose, Nadine had a company prior to that called Warm Spirit, which I joined her in 1998. And then when we relaunched as Soul Purpose, we partnered with a company called Longevity International. And uh, they are all about health and wellness as well. And so while I was going through my cancer treatments and my third diagnosis, and I opted not to do chemo and radiation. Yeah, I'm glad you did. Yes, I got on what's called the 90 for Life. So one of the key products with that is our Beyond Tangy Tangerine, which is 150 fruits and vegetables um i also in that do, one package yep in that one package what, 115 115 fruits and vegetables wow, and minerals. i can't even eat 115 <laughs> fruits and vegetables I know, a day but our body needs it and so our this is a great do. way to give your body what it needs and the reason why our bodies need it is because our soil isn't the way it was when josie and i were kids that's right it's depleted it's depleted. Um, when Josie and I were eating spinach, we just had to eat one bowl of spinach to get mm -hmm. all the nutrients. Now people have to eat um, 57 bowls of spinach to get oh, the gosh. nourishment of one. Yeah. You'd be in a bathroom. 
of one bowl of spinach. Yeah. So, it's you know, so supplementation is really important supplementation because we can't get everything important. we need from the food. And so the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, there's another product called our Osteo FX, which is for bones and joints. And then we have um, our essential fatty acids. So that's the core of the 90 for life. And then I add a few things to it, like I add enzymes. Um, for my daily digestive health. Enzymes are important because if you're not digesting your food, mm -hmm. you're going to be constipated. Yeah. So that I do my no enzymes, fun. I do probiotics, and um, you know, I'm with the grandchildren a lot. Yes. And I found that that would drain my energy, so mm -hmm. I threw in Pollen Burst, which is an energy drink. Um, what's it called? It's called Pollen Burst. Pollen Burst. Mm -hmm. So that's a natural energy drink, and it's an alternative to those sweet sugary drinks, but it gives me that boost of energy. And what I really like about Longevity is the variety of things. So they're kind of like the Amazon of direct sales. So, you know, we have mineral makeup. So I wear the makeup. This is our lipstick, which is a nice way to carry your lipstick. It's got the mirror and the light on it. Oh, let me see that. Yeah. See? Oh, that is cool. So you got your mirror and you got your light all in one. So you can do it if you I can do it no don't... matter where I am. Yeah. When you're in the car and the road, that's and right, dark. and there's dark, right? And it's dark, or in the club, wherever you might be, right? And then the other piece for my self care was the essential oils, and so I'm really passionate about the oils. And those essential oils, they just started carrying, right? We've actually been carrying them all along. They originally were called Ancient Legacy, and now they're just called Longevity. Um, but they were they but started. But they repackaged them, didn't they? They repackaged them. That's mm -hmm. right. Because I so saw them when I went to them. see Josie. When did I see you? Yesterday. When um yesterday yesterday. yesterday I was at um, Danielle's Danielle's home, and it was a vendor event there yesterday. Mm -hmm. And so I set up my oils um, because that's she a big a great part display. of my. Thank you. You did. She had this display, and she had all these oils, you know, in this in this bag, mm -hmm. and they were they were they were alphabetized. In pouches. I didn't know that, but they. <laughs> I love alphabet alphabet. You know, when people alphabetize things. But she had them all in these little pouches, like mm -hmm. these little netted pouches. And it was really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really about the oils. I'm in school for um, essential oils for aromatherapy and, um, and iridology. So I'm going to be certified in that so I can do more with the oils and really help people with their wellness. Um, but this is our perfect day oil set. So it's seven oils that are really designed for But those are blends. Day. So these, yes, those are blends. Those are blends. So mm -hmm. there, there's several essential oils in one each one of those yep. um bottles yep so that's designed for a perfect day so it starts you off with and i'm just going to give the names of them real quick because this is how i get start my day um i start out in the morning with an earth scent which is great for balancing brain function organ master which is great for weight loss and lessens food cravings um then xy blend is a hormonal so it's great for men or for women um balance of life is really um steeped in native american history in terms of the oils and it helps with mental stress throughout the day then on to physical care because you know we all we ha all have some joint or challenges yeah with when physical. you get to be our age you, yeah the, jo the joints start creaking a little bit mm -hmm. sometimes and then this time of night just before while you were coming back to the to the room heaven sent and that's all about gratitude mm, and then what good is night. in that one um you would ask that question so heaven sent <laughs> has in it white grapefruit cedar wood bergamot Black spruce, clementine, geranium, lavender, neroli, orange, uh, rosewood, scotch pine, and ylang, ylang Wow. And before I go to bed tonight, I'll do my good night for relaxing. And that's got juniper berry, patchouli, vetiver, thyme, thyme all, cedar, catnip, um, amorous, and... Um, Doesn't have lavender in it? For the night, mm-mm. Does it have... Um it has vetiver in it. Mm -hmm. It has, it has rosemary. Roots. Does it have rosemary? Doesn't have rosemary. No. Mm -mm. Nope. That's different. What's it smell like? Here. I wish y'all could smell these, but you got to call Josie. <laughs> Josie, how do they get in touch with you, by the way? Let me smell this. They can reach me um, at josiehopkins.com, J O S I, no E, J O S I, hopkins.com. And 804-334-1944. Or if you want to know about the oils or about Soul Purpose, you can either go to josiehopkins.soulpurpose.net or josiehopkins.youngevity.com. I borrowed some of this. Help yourself. Have a sweet night of no. sleep. <laughs> <laughs> don't fall asleep now, though. No, I don't want to <laughs> fall asleep. I was trying to stay awake earlier tonight. You know, it's like I was taking power naps and... 
you know, making sure that you can keep going during the day. And when I got up this morning, I started writing and I did my snail mail mm -hmm. and got a package ready for somebody. Went to the, went to run my errands, came back. Um, I did more of my book. Um, I had a Zoom conference this afternoon. For, Ooh, you've been rolling. I have been rolling. And um, I worked on another paper and emailed that to somebody. And, um, oh, I, and you guys will laugh. I, I took down my Christmas decorations. <laughs> good, good. I had to. They'd been up, but they were in the living room, and they weren't in anybody's way. And, and I said, I wanted Jacob to help me take them down because he helped me put them up. Mm -hmm. But it just didn't happen because well. he wanted to play. And I was like, yeah, we will, let's play. Let's play. <laughs> so, um, and he you was... You got a lot accomplished. I did. I did. And then I took a couple power naps, and I communicated with some people. I fixed him dinner, and he thought he was going to get soup, but he got more than soup. Yeah. So Weren't that you made me, then? Yeah, that <laughs> made me feel good. And uh, we're doing the show. And that's what, that was what my day was. So what I did was I... And this might help you. It will help you. It's not going to might help you. It will help mm -hmm. you. If you take three or four blocks of 50-minute mm -hmm. time yeah, and stay focused in that particular time for 50 minutes and then go take a break, take a break. Yeah. You, will be, you will be rocking mm -hmm. in what you want to get done. Absolutely rocking. Oh, and by the way, Aubrey, if you're watching, I did my uh, 70 crunches. This, did you do your planks? Month. Oh, you know what we're doing now? Um, she taped me, but I, I said, please don't put that on Facebook. <laughs> we're, do, we're doing a plank that's fun. Okay. We're doing the Cupid Shuffle plank. Oh, okay. Good, You know, good. and uh, it's, it's very, very, um, it's a big cardio workout. Oh, yeah. But it's helping with my core, and it's so much more fun than just in being in a plank mm -hmm. position and waiting for the time to fly because it doesn't fly when you're in a mm -mm. plank position no. it just doesn't move mm -mm. so um yeah so we're doing the cupid gotta, we're yeah, doing the cupid shuffle moving. yeah we're doing the cupid shuffle uh -huh. and she found this cupid shuffle she says marilyn do you want to try this like, oh i know the cupid shuffle we do that at the club yeah we'll try to do it in a plank Look, i'm going to say um when uh, there's an event michael and i go to and, and they um they're dancers they are steppers and yeah. so they got all kinds of cool steps. I can't do all the stepping, but I can do the Cupid, the Cupid Shuffle, and I can do uh, Electric Slide. And there are a couple of other ones I can do. Yeah, but, we last that, that, the week before we did the Cupid, Cupid, uh -huh. Cupid Shuffle. Yep. We did the Electric Slide, and then there's one called the Cha Cha Shuffle. Mm -hmm. You know, we did those, and mm -hmm. it's a lot more fun than walking around on the sidewalk. Oh yeah. Oh, that's fun, but um, not having to deal with the cold, mm -hmm. and then. It, Doing the Cupid plank is a whole lot more fun than doing a plank. Mm. Well, it was cool today. I um, This morning, um, I woke up and I, I had um, my radio show this morning. Yeah, um, that Joseph's go. Inspiration, and that's on Finding My Way Network with Kayla Paget. And I talked this morning about a little bit about um, entrepreneurship and passion and knowing that your voice is your power. And so I talked about, you know, speaking being my passion. So I did that this morning. Then I had the grandkids for a little bit this afternoon. And I went home and took a power nap. Did because you? Because yesterday was a long day. This you had week a long, has been long, yes. And it was raining yesterday. Yes. You had a long day, girlfriend. Yeah. So, you know, get, get, the, get those little mental breaks in. Right. One of the things I looked at this week, we have a new app on my phone that's called Shine. And so every morning it gives me a message. Somebody else told me about that mm -hmm. too. Yeah. So I did that this week. And one of the things they talked about was knowing, um, knowing your peaks and flows. You know, so that usually mm -hmm. in the morning is our high energy time. It's that time that you can get a lot done. And then middle of the day, you know, you kind of slow down. And so you don't want to cram the high energy things into that and then at the end of the day it's time to be creative to re unwind prepare for the next day and and prepare for the next day and when you do that the best thing to do is write three things down on the list that you want to do mm. for tomorrow my mom used to write a whole bunch of stuff i used to do it. I, do I used mind to though. write a whole bunch yeah. of stuff on when i was younger and the kids were younger mm -hmm. you can't get it all done you no, become i just like to get it out of my head i don't try to get it all done but i want to get it out of my head well on paper that's great but i i'll get it out of my head but mm -hmm. then i'm only going to put three things down in the beginning to focus on to focus on mm -hmm. if you put a whole bunch of things on your list to focus on you're not going to get hardly anything done because no. you're going to get overwhelmed mm -hmm. and that doesn't help with your mindset mm -mm. and um it's difficult 
it's mm-hmm. difficult when you got all this stuff and you get overwhelmed. It's like, so what do I do? So my mom would say, well, what do I, what do I choose? It's like, choose something that you want to do. Mm-hmm. Now, what I normally do, I put three things down that are not desirable that I mm-hmm. really have to get done, mm-hmm. you know, and then I'll put three things down that I really want to get done, mm-hmm. you know, that are going to be fun. Right. So, um, so you segment it. So, cause when I do my mind up, everything that has been floating in my mind during the day, things that are my wanting to get done, but in the morning I wake up and I kind of prioritize what are those hard things that are, that I really don't want to do. And I try to mm-hmm. knock those out first. Yeah. Knock out the hard knock things, the, the hard undesirable things, first. things you don't want to do. And, um, you know, and the other thing is I wanted to talk a little bit about, cause we're, we're doing a short show tonight. Yeah. So we can go rest. Um, that's right. That's <laughs> right. Uh, it's getting out of your comfort zone. Getting and and Chris Salem, my coach, has always says, Marilyn, you got to get out of your comfort zone. Well, one of the ways I got out of my comfort zone tonight, I'm wearing this outfit because I don't wear a lot of prints. Mm-hmm. But I bought this. But you look beautiful. Well, in thank it. you. But I bought this from Zoo Lily because yeah. it looked pretty. And when yeah. I got it, it's like. Okay, well, this is the first time I've worn it. So, mm-hmm. and I but have those boots are your on. Colors. I have boots on. Uh, yeah, see, I got boots uh-huh. on. And because um, I hadn't had these, I bought them at Target and got them at a real good price last mm-hmm. year. But my thought process is if I haven't worn it in a year, it's got to go. Mm. So, so you want to get those in? So yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So I wanted to wear, you know, wear my boots. And they're warm and they're comfy. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't wear them out when it's raining, though, because they're suede. Mm. But there's some stuff I think I have that you can mm-hmm. put yeah. on them. Protect but, them. you know, making sure that you step out of your comfort zone. Because when you step out of your comfort zone, that's when you start succeeding. Mm-hmm. Truly. Um, tomorrow morning, I told my husband, I hope I'll be able to do this. I am going to set my clock. I'm going to I'm going to hot yoga at 6 o'clock in the morning. What? Because, <laughs> let me tell you something, if I do that, I can get so, I can come home and take a shower, and I can get so much more stuff oh, yeah. done. Yeah. You know, and if I want to come back and take a nap, I can come back and take a nap. Yeah. I'm most right? productive. If I get up around 6.17 is my automatic wake up time and I used That's to worry normal. about why am I waking up at 617 you run out of sleep no 617 is my birth date so that's ah. my time that's my god time so I wake up then and I write. Well, that would be good, but my birthday is one fifteen, so I'm not getting <laughs> not up at, at one fifteen in the morning. <laughs> no, I could get up at one fifteen in the afternoon. afternoon. <laughs> yeah, but when we get up early, we get a lot done. That's and right. And my that's... dad used to say he liked to get up and breathe the air before anybody else breathed. Well, it. yeah, that's a great <laughs> idea. But you know, that to me tomorrow is getting out of my comfort zone. So I will set my clock for five fifteen. Mm-hmm. And um, that's another reason why we're doing a short show so I can go to so bed early. Up. Because when I do these shows, I don't go to bed right away because I'm still wound for sound. Mm-hmm. So still really wound for sound. So um, it's just think about things that you want to do to get out of your comfort zone. Do mm-hmm. you want to do you want to paint? Mm-hmm. I wanted to paint, so I went to paint night. You know, my kids took me to paint night one mm-hmm. night. Do you want to, you know, I don't know, ride a bike? Do you want to yeah. learn horseback riding? Do something that today you I talked about done. getting out of my comfort zone in speaking because I'm always speaking on radio that is just and nobody me can see you and nobody can see me. <laughs> and that's why I've got you on you here after now. Me. See, you're getting out of your comfort zone tonight. Yeah, well, you know, it's it's always a challenge because you never um, you're putting your whole self out there. So you know. This is this is a test, and it's a good test. It is. So it was moving me from radio, where I didn't see the audience, to um, being on a screen where the audience sees me, and I still don't see them. And my next step is to be where the audience and I are looking directly in each other's yeah, eyes. Yeah, well, I have done that where the uh, I have been on stage before, mm-hmm, I've and been there. when they shine the lights on you, you normally don't see that many people out there. But it is, it can be nerve wracking. Mm-hmm. It can be very nerve wracking. And my husband is saying it is time for us to close it it out and wrap it up so we hope that you have had a delightful evening with us thank you for um inviting us into your home we really appreciate it josie has been with me since the beginning and uh, and how can they get in touch with you one more time with your 804 334-1944. That's my business number and you can catch me between the hours of 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. or 10 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Yeah. Yeah, we are saying (laughs) bye-bye. My husband's going bye-bye. Come on, Marilyn, get our toes together. Bye-bye, everybody. I hope that everybody has a wonderful weekend and be amazing. And be inspired. And be inspired. Bye-bye.